Hey Randy, the video that you're about to see was recorded before I watched your video on the minifigure travel pack because I thought it would be interesting to see our two different takes on it. So we saw your impressions last week. Let's check out mine. Hey Randy, I'm going to do an unboxing video because they're apparently popular on YouTube. In a previous video, I talked about the different specials coming up in June and one of them was that travel minifigure pack. And well, I went on shop.lego.com, ordered enough Legos to qualify, and that's what should be in this box. Here's my unboxing knife. Packing slip. I think in order to qualify for the special travel pack, you had to spend at least $35. So let's see what I got. Minecraft, and here's the travel pack. Randy, I'm a big fan of Minecraft, but I haven't played in a while. Do you play? Minecraft and Lego are perfect together, and I have a lot of Minecraft sets. I'm sure that I'll put this one together eventually, and maybe that can be a video of its own. Because I'd love to talk to you more about Minecraft, and I definitely want to play with these Minecraft sets. But let's get down to the reason for the season, this travel kit. It comes in a little suitcase looking box, but let's see what's inside. Some kind of passport. Ha! Huh. It's instructions. So Randy, this is pretty cool. The passport has some information area here to fill out. The first few pages are instructions for building this little minifigure and the accessories he comes with. And then we've got travel photos. This minifigure is really going places. I'm not really sure what this is just yet. Maybe their use will become clear when I read the instructions. First thing first, the minifigure. He's got a generic little Lego minifigure face. A little flag, like a sandcastle type thing or something. Now this is cool. It's a little grill, complete with a sausage. A camera on the tripod. Quadropod. It's one of those um, poolside lounger chairs with a little umbrella and a cup. Well, that's it for the instructions, but there are still a few pieces left, including a fish, snowboard, some flippers, I'm not sure what this is, a target, a whip, you know, a traveling whip, ice cream on a cone, a snorkeling helmet, whatever this piece is, briefcase or luggage, and a little bucket, because when you gotta go, you gotta go. Ah, this is a selfie stick. Ta-da! So apparently the whip is supposed to be a fishing pole or something, but I'm not sure why you go fishing with a whip underwater. According to the pictures, this might be a surfboard. So there you go, Randy. A cool little freebie, lots of fun little accessories, a generic little minifigure guy. What's really interesting is the little booklet of travel photos, because these are the kinds of photos you might see people sharing on Tumblr or Reddit. But here we have Lego itself taking pictures of Lego minifigures out in the real world. It makes me wonder what the story is behind this travel pack and how it came about and who took these photos. I didn't find out what these are. Maybe they're bookmarks. That's my best guess. Do you know? And I also didn't figure out what this clear piece is for, but I'm guessing it's um, to position the minifigure in some way. You can attach him or an accessory to it and pretend that it's not there. See, he's flying. So there you go, unboxed. See you soon.